Kingdom of Ash, the final book in Sarah J. Moss's Throne of Glass series, culminates the epic adventure and gripping struggle against the darkness that has been unfolding. Following the footsteps of Aelin Galathenius, the rightful queen of Terrasen who has been captured by the sadistic fey prince Maeve, Aelin endures unimaginable torture both physical and mental while imprisoned in an iron coffin, her fiery magic bound and her hope waning. However, she clings to life, using her wits and will to survive, enduring for the love of her people and her resolve to defeat Maeve. Meanwhile, her friends and allies unite to save her and restore her to the throne. Rowan Whitethorn, Aelin's fey prince consort, bands together with Gavriel, Fenris, and Lorcan in a desperate search for their queen, their paths fraught with danger as they face their own demons and histories. Elsewhere, Manon Blackbeak, the heir to the Blackbeak Witch Clan and one of Aelin's staunchest allies, deals with the impact of her grandmother's betrayal and the reality of her heritage. As she unites the Witch Clans and forms an uneasy alliance with Dorian Haviliard, the king of Adderlin, the two confront the possibility that she may be the last Croatian queen, carrying the weight of prophecy and potential that comes with her bloodline. Adion Ashriver, Aelin's cousin, and Lysandra, a shapeshifter serving in Aelin's place, face their own trials as they attempt to rally support among the lords of Terrasen and keep the morale of their armies high in the face of an approaching and seemingly insurmountable force led by Morath. Duke Parrington's seat of darkness in the north. Allied Loken, a cunning survivor with a claim to her own noble lineage, navigates her way through treacherous lands carrying knowledge that could turn the tide of the war. She and Lorcan, a fey warrior betrayed by his own queen, come to terms with their feelings for each other as they push past their experiences of loneliness and betrayal. As these characters traverse their separate but interlinked paths, Aelin's strength of mind allows her to use the connection with her mate, Rowan, to send hints of her whereabouts. Through great effort and sacrifice, her allies converge on Maeve's stronghold to rescue Aelin. Their reunion is fraught with emotion and determination, their bond proving stronger than the iron that once held Aelin captive. Reunited with her friends, Aelin begins the daunting task of pulling together forces from across the land to form a united front against Erewhon, the Valg king threatening to bring destruction to their world. The group faces personal struggles and strategic challenges, understanding that the success of their mission relies not only on military strength, but on the power of alliances and the resilience of the human spirit. Aelin's personal journey brings her face to face with the cost of her own destiny. She possesses powerful magic and a unique ability to forge keys that can lock away the ancient evil threatening their world. As a descendant of both Brannon, the first king of Terrasen, and Mala Firebringer, only Aelin can wield the power necessary to defeat their enemies, a task that might require the ultimate sacrifice. In tandem with the preparation for battle, the characters continue to develop and explore their relationships. Romantic entanglements that have been building throughout the series culminate in tender admissions and commitments of love. Bonds of friendship and honor are tested and reaffirmed as they face down the darkness. As the final battle approaches, strategies come into play and alliances bear fruit. Kaol Westfall, the hand of the king to Dorian, and his wife, Yureen Towers, a healer of immense power, play pivotal roles. Yurini's abilities prove crucial while Kaol lends his swordsman's expertise to the war. Manon proves her leadership and lineage by rallying the Iron Teeth and Crochen witches, bringing them into the fold as allies against the Valg. Dorian, empowered by his magic, confronts his own battles, both leadership and on the personal front, embracing his role as a king. His unique magical gifts become a focal point in the struggle against the darkness, as he stretches the very limits of his power. The combined forces launch a two-front war, one to hold off Morath's armies, led by Adion and Lysandra, and another to assault Erewhon himself, with Aelin and Dorian at the lead. Moments of strategy and sacrifice unfold on the battlefield, where every character plays a role, with ordinary soldiers and leaders alike playing their part. As the tide of battle rages, Aelin confronts Maeve and Erewhon. The confrontation is not only physical, but metaphysical. Aelin must journey through realms beyond human comprehension, facing truths about her history, 
her power, and the fine line between sacrifice and surrender. It is here, in the climax of all her trials and tribulations, that Aelin's true strength is tested. In a culmination of plot threads, prophecies, and power struggles, Aelin and her allies push to seal away the dark forces forever. The process requires Aelin to tap into the depths of her fiery magic, the cost of which might be her own life. The once egocentric assassin has risen to a queen willing to lay down everything for her kingdom and her people. The final moments are a cacophony of magic, love, determination, and grief. Casualties mount as key figures make noble sacrifices. In the end, Aelin's gambit succeeds, the keys are forged, and the dark gates are locked at a tremendous personal cost to herself and those she loves. In the aftermath of battle, the world must heal, and so must its survivors. Aelin survives, but fundamentally changed by her experiences and her sacrifices. She and Rowan look forward to a future together, though marked by the scars of war. They return to a Terrasin that has been saved, but will bear the marks of conflict for generations to come. The allies who have survived find their own paths in the New World Order. Dorian begins reconstruction efforts, establishing peace and seeking personal redemption. Manon explores what it means to lead her people into a new era, one without the shadow of the Iron Teeth matriarchs. Allied and Lorcan continue their fraught journey together, now bonded by the trials they have endured. The book concludes with a celebration of life, love, and the resilience of hope. The characters gather for an epilogue of peace, acknowledging their losses, but choosing to focus on the future. Aelin's journey from an assassin with a forgotten heritage to a queen who has saved her world is complete, her name forever etched in legend. The story of Kingdom of Ash is a tale of resilience, sacrifice, and the indomitable will of those fighting for the light against overwhelming darkness, a fitting and poignant finale to the Throne of Glass series. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.